am in Blackboard and I'm going to show you how to use Smart Thinking. Smart Thinking is an online tutoring service that is available in every fully online course. Students only have access to Smart Thinking if they are in a fully online class. And so it won't be accessible through hybrid or web enhanced classes. But if you get to it through your online class, then you can use it for whatever subject you need. It's not limited to that specific subject. All right, um, I am in this class as an instructor, and so it might look a little bit different from your class view as a student. But when I get into smart thinking, I'm going to switch into student view. So some classes will have smart thinking over here on the left menu. This one has it in the start here section. So I'm going to click on the link to go into smart thinking and it's going to launch and then it's going to do a system check. Um, you have to have your pop ups enabled to get through the system check. If pop ups are blocked, it won't make it through the system check. All right, so here I'm going to switch to student view and it's going to go through my system check again. Um, Students all have two hours of smart thinking tutoring that has already been paid for. So use them. Um, we have data that shows that students who use on campus tutoring generally increase their letter grade by the end of the semester by um, a letter and a half. Students who use online tutoring generally increase their letter grade by a letter. And students who use a combination of both go to the Success Center sometimes and use online tutoring sometimes, generally increase their grade by two letters by the end of the semester. All right, so it's best used in conjunction with the Success Center, but on its own, it's pretty dang good as well. All right, so this is what you'll see as a student, and you have some options. You can work with a tutor, and this is going to take you to a live tutor. Um, you can drop in to ask questions about any one of these subjects. You can bring up a calendar to schedule a session maybe tonight after you get off work, um, or a little bit later after you've had a chance to go through your notes and figure out exactly what you want the tutor to help you with. Um, or you can submit a question via email. All right, so um, with this, the tutor will be logged in at the same time as you. It will be live. Um, the tutor will have a whiteboard that you will have access to as well. And so you and the tutor can share a screen. Um, you can put your notes up there for the tutor to see and go over with you. Um, you can practice a problem on a whiteboard and the tutor can point out whether you've made a mistake somewhere in it. And then the tutor can, can work on something with you demonstrating how to do something. So that's the live tutoring option. The Writing Center is the most popular option, and um, when you go to Submit My Writing, you have the choice of submitting a shorter essay, fewer than 10 pages, a longer essay, more than 10 pages, or if you want to submit something that's um, shorter than an essay, just 200 words or less. You can do that, and these are separated because they count as different time deductions from your account. Um, again, if you use it frequently, then you are welcome to email me, Cameron Bentley, and ask for more Smart Thinking Hours, and I'll be glad to find some for you and switch them over to your account. All right, so when you click on Submit My Writing to one of those categories, you get a form that asks you what the assignment instructions are and which two areas you would like the tutor to focus on. And so then within 24 hours, that tutor will review, review your writing, make comments and suggestions, and email the essay back to you at your smart web address. Um, and a copy of it will also be stored up here. So you can always log back into Smart Thinking to get your comments from the tutor. Um, 
once you've made the improvements, you can submit it again and choose either two different categories or the same two categories. And so you can submit the same paper multiple times until you're satisfied that you have it the way you want. Um, if you're writing a paper for allied health or nursing, um, then you may want to choose one of these categories where the content expert will know about your topic. Um, if you're writing it for psychology or history, um, then you'll probably just use the essay center here. And if you're doing a job search, you can submit your job search materials over here to get feedback on them. All right, if you're practicing for a timed writing test, then you can choose writing practice and that will give you an auto graded um, topic. So it, a topic comes up, you write a response within a time limit, and then it generates a computer graded um, score for you and shows you where it thinks that you could improve, which is fun to play with. It's interesting and it does not count against your time. Only working with the live tutor and submitting your writing counts against your time that you have. But again, you can always email me for more time. Another thing that does not count against your time, which is very useful in here, is study aids. And so there's lots of different topics, lots of different types of resources. Um, and so, for example, if you are looking for some practice with psychology, you can go in here and choose one of these different interactive tutorials or listen to a podcast. Um, if you were looking for some help with anatomy, um, there are lots of sort of infographics available, lots of videos, um, some sort of cartoon animated lessons. And so lots of different options in the study aids category that do not count against your time. All right, so that is how you use smart thinking. Use it and good luck with your classes.